A 500 kilonewton force is applied to the composite block by means of a rigid end plate. The modulus of elasticity of the aluminum plates is 70 gigapascal, while the modulus of elasticity of the brass core is 100 gigapascal. Calculate the normal stress in the brass core. Okay, so as you can see, class, magahati yung aluminum tsaka yung brass dun sa bubuhati na load. So that will be the first equation. No? So ang ating equilibrium equation is the force in the aluminum plus the force in the brass that is equal to 500 kilonewton. Times lang natin ng 1,000 para maging newton. So that is our equilibrium equation. Imagine meron kasing rigid plate sa ibabaw Pag sinabing rigid plate, hindi ito na de-deform, no? Kasi it's rigid, eh. So, meaning, kapag in siya, or pag nilagyan ng load yung rigid plate, tapos nakapatong yung rigid plate sa mga deformable material, no? so, take note, this is rigid. Then, itong tatlo, mga deformable, no? So, ang mangyayari, Pagiging equal yung deformation sa aluminum at sa brass. Bakit magiging equal? Kasi nga, rigid yung nasa ibabaw nila. So, and then symmetrical yung pagkaka-place nila. So, ang mangyayari, magiging pantay yung deformation ng aluminum plates at ng brass core sa gitna. Kasi rigid eh. So, hindi pwedeng ma-deform yung rigid. So, pag bumaba yan, sabay-sabay. Sa concept na yun, doon natin makukuha yung compatibility equation natin na ang magiging deformation sa aluminum ay equal lang sa deformation ng brass. Okay? Actual pa rin ang loading. So, ang formula mo pa rin ng deformation is simply PL over AE. This is for aluminum. And then, PL over AE for the brass. So, yan yung ating dalawang working equation. Isang equilibrium equation at isang compatibility equation. Sige, let us substitute. Force aluminum times the length of the aluminum and the brass, parehas lang, no? Na 350. And then, ang area of the aluminum, base sa figure, kung titignan nyo, base sa figure, rectangular lang yung mga area, no? So, ang dimension ni aluminum is... 50 by, ito, tignan nyo, 50 by 70. Rectangle lang yung cross-section niya. So, 50 by 70, kailangan mo lang i-times ng 2 kasi dalawa yung aluminum plates sa magkabilang gilid. Then, modulus of elasticity ng aluminum is 70 gigapascal. Equate natin yan sa, sa P brass times the length, 350 over area of the brass. So, ang area naman ng brass, ang dimension niya is, ay, sorry. Ang dimension pala ni aluminum ay 15. Sorry, hindi ko napansin. Ayan, 15. Hindi pala 50. Yung 50 pala para sa brass. Okay, so 50 times 70. Ayan. And then, ang modulus of elasticity ng brass is 105. Okay? So, there's no need na i-convert papuntang megapascal kasi magka-cancel lang yun. Magka-cancel lang naman yung units nila kasi balance. Parehas may gigapascal sa left side, may gigapascal din sa right side. So, no need to convert to megapascal. Okay? So, this is now our second equation. And then, ito yung ating first equation. So, pwede na nating masolve ang force sa aluminum at ang brass. Simplify ko lang muna tong second equation. So, 350 over 2 times 15 times 70. So, this is 1 over 420 PAL. And then, yung coefficient naman ni brass, we have 1 over 1050. Okay? Equal 0. So, two equations, to unknowns. Pwede natin gamitin yung ating mode equation, to unknowns. So, input mo lang yung mga coefficients ng mga unknown mo. 
Ang unknown natin ay PAL at PVR. So, ang coefficient nila sa first equation ay 1. And then, ang constant value is 500 times 1,000. Next, that is 420. 1 over 420 sa PAL. And then, for branch, that is 1,000. Negative 1 over 1,050. The force in the aluminum is 142857.1429 Newton. And then the corresponding force in the bronze is 357142.8571 Newton. So we can also calculate the normal stress in the brass core. Calculate the normal stress in the brass core. E di force over area lang. Meron ka ng force kay brass. So, compute na natin ang stress. Stress kay brass, that is PBR over area of BR. So, ang force niya is 357,000. 142.8571. Divide natin sa area niya na 50 by 70. So, therefore, the stress in bronze is, ayan, so, 102.0408163 megapascal, and that is letter D. Next, calculate the normal stress in the aluminum. So, same procedure, force, aluminum divided by area of the aluminum. Force kay aluminum, 142,000, and then, Ang area ni aluminum is 15 by 70 times lang natin ng dalawa kasi dalawa yung aluminum. So therefore, the stress in aluminum is 68.0272109 megapascal. And that is letter A. Then lastly, calculate the total deformation of the composite block. So we can solve for the deformation. So either of the formula, Pwede mong i-compute yung deformation ni aluminum or ni brass kasi magiging parehas lang naman yon dahil in nga natin sila previously, di ba? So, let's say yung kay aluminum na lang. So, we have PL over AB for aluminum. Ang force kay aluminum is 142.857.1429. Ang length ay 350. And then, ang area is 2 by 15.70. A modulus of elasticity ni aluminum even as 70 gigapascal. So, this time, gagawin na natin siyang megapascal kasi nagko-compute ka na ng deformation. So, we have 0 0.340 136 0545. Okay?